during World War II, I volunteered for Operation Weaver, a program designed to create physically superior soldiers. Unfortunately, I was the program's only success, because the head scientist was assassinated. I was quickly moved to the front lines, along with my sidekick, Bucky. We won many a battle, until toward the end of the war, there was a mishap, and I fell into the freezing waters of the Atlantic. It wasn't until many decades later that I was found and thought out. Since that time, I have fought many a villain, but perhaps the one I find most troublesome is Winter Soldier. Take, for instance, the time he tried to cripple the helicarrier. Give up. Looks like you lose. Give up.
won't take much longer. I can't go on until I... I can't go on until I... I can't go on until I... I've already got you beat. some help. We're lucky. Who else could have survived falling into the ocean and then be thawed out decades later? This is insane, Winter Soldier. Why are you launching that nuclear missile? It's my mission. And as I remember, missions were always the most important thing to you. No matter who had to die to accomplish them. I won't let you do this. Ha! <laughs> I've got the only key to deactivate it. All you can do is delay the launch with the proper console sequence. But you don't even know the correct order. Give up, Cap. It's over. You know me better than that, kid. Yeah, I suppose I do. So let's finish this, old man. I've got a city to nuke. Sissy setting up.
But don't think this is over. We will meet again. Launch terminated. Maybe Winter Soldier was right. Maybe I am lucky. I can only hope my luck holds out the next time I have to face him. Thanks to the butchers of the Weapon X program. Not much about my past. They messed with my head, coated my bones with unbreakable adamantium. All in the hope of turning me into the ultimate killing machine. Well, they were successful. I did a lot of killing as I escaped out of that madhouse. Eventually, I made my way to the X Mansion. There, I found a home and a purpose with the X Men. Now I fight to help people rather than hurt them. Like there was this one time an android named Warstar was trying to destroy Shield's Omega base. <laughs> Want some? Let's move out!
best of what I do. Star and his drones into so much scrap. And I saved the Omega too. Not a bad bit of work for an ultimate killing machine from the Weapon X program. I've gotta stop Warstar, or he's gonna destroy the Omega base. While I was testing experimental equipment in a foreign land, a booby trap went off, sending shrapnel into my heart. I woke up to discover I'd been taken prisoner. My captor refused to give me any medical attention, unless I created new weapons for him. So in secrecy, I created a suit of armor with a built-in pacemaker that kept me alive. I wound up using the armor to help me escape. And while that was the first adventure of Iron Man, I've had many others that were even more exciting. Like the time I had to face Ultimo.
guess you didn't know who you were messing with. I don't have enough power. I don't have enough power. as easily as I have the others. Is that a fact? Then I guess I'm going to have to think outside the box for this fight. I 
don't have enough power. I'd need more energy to do that. Say good night, Mandarin. You lost again. Wolverine. Captain America. Colossus. Be careful, team. This scenario deals with Ultron, a robotic entity created by Dr. Hank Pym to act as an assistant. Unfortunately, Dr. Pym made his creation a little too intelligent, and Ultron decided that mechanized life forms were superior to biological ones. A creature of incredible speed and strength, Ultron has an adamantium body that is invulnerable. Combine that with his genius intellect, and you have an opponent that is nearly unstoppable. This one's out. Of course, I've already got you beat.
I commend you on a well-fought battle. You made it seem almost easy to beat Ultron. Colonel Fury will be quite surprised. All I ever wanted to do was get into space. I studied very hard and invested a lot of my family's fortune into building a rocket ship. But when the project was about to be shut down, I boarded the ship along with Ben Grimm, Sue Storm, and her brother Johnny. Just when we made it to outer space, we were quickly hit by a radiation storm that caused us to crash. Then we discovered the radiation had changed us, given us superpowers. And that is how we became the Fantastic Four. Since then, we've dealt with many problems. Some big, some small, and some that were downright unusual. Like the time I faced Bulldozer in Murder World. It's showtime! Thank <laughs> you.
trapped here too, are you? Buddy, you are dead meat. Look, I don't want to fight. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> so, there's no way for us to settle this peacefully? I'm gonna crush you like a paper cup. All right, if that's how you want it, then let's do this. So I managed to beat Bulldozer and get away from Murder World. And with a little luck, I'll never go back there again. As a child, I shoved a man out of the way of a falling barrel. Unfortunately, I was hit across the eyes by the radioactive waste the barrel carried. When I awoke in the hospital, I discovered I was blind. But somehow the radiation had affected my other senses. It gave me a type of radar that let me see in the dark. I kept my new talents a secret, even when I grew into an adult and became a defense lawyer. My experience with trials soon showed me that victims needed more aid than the legal system could provide. So I took it upon myself to help those in need, and I became the superhero known as Daredevil. Though I faced many difficult adversaries, none has been more persistent than Bullseye in his obsession with killing me.
Case closed. Don't be responsible. I want you to do your worst. That way I'll be able to brag to everyone that I really beat you. What is it with you? Why can't you give up this sick fascination with me? Ah, what can I say? You've always been that one itch I've never had the chance to scratch. That doesn't bullseye. The gloves are off and you're going down.
In the end, Electra was fine, and Bullseye was taken into custody. Unfortunately, with the help of a high-priced lawyer, he was able to skip any jail sentence. But I'll be ready when he attacks again. Of that, you can be sure. Mr. Fantastic. The Hulk. Magneto. Hulk lead team to victory! Team, in this scenario you will be facing the Crimson Dynamo. A.K.A. Valentin Shatilov. He's a former Soviet general who would like nothing more than to return Russia to the days of Stalin. Be careful. That Russian-built armor he's wearing is equal to Iron Man's. So defeating him won't exactly be a walk in the park.
just beat you! <laughs> Dynamo. Back in the old days, a war hero such as I would be treated with respect and given worthy opponents. You impetuous fools! The armor I wear gives me the strength of a hundred men. You could no more stop me than you could stop a runaway freight train. Ah, now you have made me angry, and for that, I must break you. Run away and hide! <laughs> That was a very impressive victory, team. The Crimson Dynamo is a formidable villain, who is as cunning as he is strong.
My real name's Ben Grimm, but most people call me The Thing on account of how I look. You see, I let my best buddy, Reed Richards, talk me into flying his spaceship. But we wound up getting caught in a radiation storm and came crashing back to Earth. When we got out of the wreckage of the ship, we found out the radiation had changed us. Reed could get stretchy, Susie could turn invisible, and old Johnny could turn into fire. But me? Well, I got this ugly mug made of stone. Still, it ain't all bad being me. I do love to smack down bad guys like Rhino. Targets in range. Didn't expect that, did you? Give me someone else to bow!
In the end, I beat Rhino and had a lot of fun doing it. But that don't mean I'd rather have a face that didn't look like a gravel road. When I became the king of Wakanda, I also became the Black Panther, defender of my people. And for this reason, I was trained in all forms of combat and educated at the best schools throughout the world. It is no small feat protecting my country. It holds a large deposit of vibranium, a very rare mineral. And while vibranium allows my people an unequaled standard of living, 
It also forces me to continually battle those who would conquer us. Take, for instance, the time Arcade kidnapped me and forced me into Murder World. It's showtime! Who's next? of you to start this battle. I lack the power required. Oh, my health is running low. this demented playground of yours. I would rather die than give you control of my country's wealth.
The battle is over, Arcade. I have won. And you had better pray I never hear from you again. For if I do, no number of Captain America clones will keep me from exacting my vengeance. For the majority of my life, I was simply Dr. Stephen Strange, a gifted neurosurgeon with a taste for the finer things in life. That was until the fateful car crash, which injured my hands. Unable to work, I spent my fortune on any procedure I could find to repair the damage. But none worked, and I wound up destitute. In a last desperate hope for a cure, I traveled to the Himalayas in search of a man named the Ancient One. I found him. And in me, he saw a great goodness. He convinced me to become his apprentice. And eventually, I succeeded him as the Sorcerer Supreme. Now, I protect the world from dark entities of the night. Take, for instance, the time Mephisto kidnapped Clea and spirited her off to his dimension. Your attempts were weak at best. Foolish of you to battle me. You were helpless before the master of mystic arts.
were weak at best. Yourself, Mephisto, or are you still smarting from our last encounter? Very perceptive of you, Doctor Strange. I may be weak at the moment, but I have associates who are strong, like Baron Mordo. Mephisto, you scoundrel. Hand over Clea immediately, or you'll suffer the consequences. No, Doctor Strange. It is you who will suffer the consequences for hurting me. Attack him, Baron Mordo. immediately. I urgently require health. With Mordo dispatched, Clea and I were able to return to our own dimension. But I doubt Mephisto has forgotten this episode. No doubt he is plotting his revenge even now. The Thing. The Hulk. Venom. Luke Cage. Excellent! Mysterio was a Hollywood special effects artist until he decided to use his talents for something other than mock gunfights. While he has no superhuman powers, Mysterio does have a vast arsenal of illusions he uses to confound his prey. Be cautious, team, for nothing you see can be trusted where Mysterio is concerned. Come here, kid! Okay.
like one of us. You lose, Cupcake! Congratulations on your victory, team. Mysterio is a very difficult opponent, even under the best of circumstances. My name is Electra, and I have suffered greatly in this life. After seeing my father gunned down, I joined a terrorist group known as The Hand. With that training, I became a freelance assassin and renewed a friendship with Matthew Murdoch. 
After dying at the hands of Bullseye, I was brought back to life so that I could become an assassin again. And had Matthew not saved me, I would still be a cold-blooded killer. My life hasn't been all pain. There have been moments like the time I met up with Bullseye. Again.
you didn't expect to see me here. Sure I did, Bullseye. A big place like this is bound to have a rat or two in it. And here I was hoping that we could be friends, Electra. But you always have to go and push my buttons. I know. I just can't help myself. You're such an easy target. You've got it backwards, hun. You're the one who's the target. And we both know I never miss. That's where you're wrong, Bullseye. Dead wrong. <laughs> I don't have the power to do that. I defeated Bullseye, but I didn't kill him. That's just not my style anymore. Still, I have to admit, I did enjoy knocking him out. Hulk, Wolverine, Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, New Fantastic Four, Let's hit it! McDonald Gargan was hired by J. Jonah Jameson to embarrass Spider-Man by defeating him in combat. To match Spider-Man's superhuman abilities, Gargan became the subject of an untested medical procedure. Additionally, Gargan was given a suit with a cybernetic tail, and thus he was dubbed the Scorpion. The medical procedure did give Gargan incredible strength and speed, but it also drove him criminally insane. He is now a very powerful man with a very dangerous attitude. That wasn't much of a fight. Hulk likes this a lot! <laughs> You're lucky I was easy on you. Should run away and hide.
were too puny to fight home! See you around, sucker. I need assistance. Glad you could finally make it. I was beginning to wonder if you were ever gonna get here. No, you're the one who made the big mistake, pal. And I'll show you why. Give me a hand over here. Hulk will do it. Help me take this jerk down. Okay. Give me a hand over here. All right. That was an impressive battle, team. It had been predicted that the Scorpion's enhanced reflexes and strength would prove to be your undoing. I am happy to see the prediction was wrong. My mother died at the hands of the vampire Deacon Frost, so I dedicated my life to killing the undead. Then I was bitten by a fiend named Morbius and became half vampire myself. I gained all of their strengths and none of their weaknesses. So now they call me Daywalker and they fear me. And well, they should. For it is my life's mission to destroy the dark creatures that plague mankind. In my work, I've traveled to many different lands. Once I even traveled to Mephisto's realm to save the X-Man named Storm. There, I met a creature, the likes of which I'd never seen before.
bad situation. been a slice. are mild, but the summers are hotter than heck. You might have his lame sense of humor, but you're not Spider-Man. There is no denying it, Blade. You're a sharp one. A real cut above the rest. What have you done with Storm? Nothing horrible. At least not yet. But once I'm finished with you, I'll have some time to get creative. Think again, because your time is up.
This is really not the best time to be standing around. You don't have to tell me twice. Lead the way. All I ever wanted was to drive in a motorcycle stunt show and see my name, Johnny Blaze, in lights. But then, I made a deal with a creature known as Mephisto to save my stepfather's life. The deal fell apart, and my stepfather died. And the only thing that saved me from being taken away to Mephisto's realm was the love of a girl named Roxanne. I thought I had won, but I soon discovered that villain had forever cursed me to turn into the Ghost Rider, the spirit of vengeance. Now, I try to repay Mephisto whenever I can. Like the time I went into his realm to save Wolverine.
that wasn't much of a fight. going to send an X-Man, but I talked him into letting me come instead. You're an overconfident fool, Johnny, but you've got spirit. I'll give you that. Yeah, I've got the spirit of vengeance thanks to you, and now I aim for a little payback. You're in over your head, child. Leave or you'll be forced to battle Baron Mordo. I'm not leaving without Wolverine. Then you're never leaving. Baron Mordo. So maybe all I did was annoy Mephisto a little. That's enough for now. But someday, some way, I'll pay him back in full for what he did to me. It all started for me when I volunteered to take part in a medical experiment that was supposed to make me immune to all disease. But an enemy of mine sabotaged the equipment. Things went haywire. I was supposed to die in the explosion, but instead I emerged from the smoke and fire a changed man. I had skin that was as hard as titanium and super strength. 
I tried starting up a business where I could charge people for the use of my super services, but almost every time I wound up giving them money back. Nowadays, I'm happy to be a superhero for free, like the time Shield wanted me to save the Omega base from Ultron. That means I will. You 
must be Ultron that Renegade Robot Fury was telling me about. Why don't you come along peacefully so I don't have to bust you up? Weapon systems now alive. You sure aren't wasting any time. I mean, shouldn't we at least banter a little? You know, you threaten me, then I threaten you, something like that. Enemy targeted. Okay, I guess we're jumping straight to the main event. Let So I managed to take Ultron apart and save the Omega base. Who says there's no such thing as a happy ending? If I knew then what I know now, would I have gone to that exhibit? Would I have let that radioactive spider bite me? That's a very tough question. Sure. Because of that bite, I now have super strength, can climb walls, and have a sixth sense for danger. But fighting crime really puts a crimp in my social life. And then there's the army of lunatics out there who'd love to play hockey with my skull. So being Spider-Man isn't all money and glamour. Well, there is no money and glamour. Get to kick the stuffing out of guys like the Scorpion.
Corpy, what's up? Attending the annual meeting of Psychos Incorporated? Don't move, Spider-Man. Dum Dum Dugan is in chains and wired with explosives. One word from me, and he's history. Okay, okay, I'm not moving. But could you hurry? My suit's riding up and giving me an incredible wedgie. Make all your jokes now, webhead, because in a few seconds, the joke will be on you. I'm just not a people person. I've had enough! Kill Dugan while I take care of the wall-crawling freak! Freak? At least I'm not the one with a prehensile tail. Target in range. I don't have enough power. Next time, I want to fight somebody who doesn't smell like old We got trouble!
I don't have enough energy. And that's how it ended. The Scorpion was defeated, and the Super Soldiers were locked up. Not a bad little adventure, but it would have been infinitely more fun if Dugan had been a supermodel. I was orphaned early on in life and spent the remainder of my childhood as a thief on the streets of Cairo. At the age of 12, I began a long journey south through Africa. Along the way, I crossed the Sahara and nearly died of dehydration. This awoke my mutant ability to control weather. I soon discovered I could create rain and lightning as well as command the wind. I then spent several years helping various tribes across the Serengeti, creating precipitation to save their crops. Then, Professor Charles Xavier came to me and asked that I join him in America. He wanted me to become part of his team of X-Men. I found his arguments very convincing and agreed to join his team. And I haven't had a boring minute since. Take, for instance, the time I had to save my teammates from a creature known as Hassal. It's showtime! Score one for me.
to save their brethren. Whoever you are, release Wolverine and Iceman. There is no need for us to fight. Oh, but there is Storm. For I am Hassar, member of the elite Shi'ar Imperial Guard. And Arcade has ordered that I defeat whoever comes to save these two prisoners. You can't really be Hassar. The Shi'ar Elite Guard are clear across the galaxy. You must be some type of robot. The reality of my existence is inconsequential, but the ending of yours will not be. Come, Storm. Let us see if you can save your friends from certain death. <laughs>
So I defeated the robot of Hussar and saved Wolverine and Bobby from death. It's a shame Arcade got away, because it would have been fun to give him a taste of his own medicine. My hammer Mjolnir was given to me after proving myself worthy over the course of several years. It is incredibly powerful, but there have been times when I needed other weapons. Take for instance when I battled the dark elf named Curse. His magical armor is actually a living part of him, and its only weakness is iron. When we fought, my only hope was to use a hammer constructed of that mineral. this foolishness. You should have surrendered. Should have surrendered. Oh, 
grow weak, evil one. I claim this victory for Asgard. of Odin stands triumphant. <laughs> This battle will end soon. You stood little chance against the God of Thunder. Prepare for your destruction. I do not want to fight you. I only wish for you to leave this land, Curse. Death to you! You would threaten a son of Odin when he offers peace? Very well. You will have your battle. But it will not end well for you.
The day my father, Odin, banished me from Asgard, I was bitten by a vampire and had radioactive waste dumped into my eyes. To make matters worse, my mutant ability to control weather activated just as I was hit by a blast of gamma radiation. Nah, actually I got this way by volunteering for the Weapon X program. They promised to cure my cancer, and they cured it all right, by giving me an outrageous healing factor. Then, and they labeled me psychotic and tossed me into a prison lab. So, I escaped and became what some people might call a mercenary. I prefer the title cleaner of the gene pool. And I've made a lot of good friends along the way. Like Arcade. He's always sending me to his amusement park. Hello, Deadpool. Ready for a fun-filled day in Murder World? Yep. I've got my sunscreen on, and I've taken my motion sickness pills, so bring on the rides. Oh, I don't think you understand. You're going to die here. I know. Carnivals always slay me. No. You are going to physically die. As in, stop breathing, you will cease to exist. Right. So do you have bumper cars here?
the sideshow tent? Cause you look like the dog face boy. Oh, you are a wit, Deadpool. Or at least half a one. Tell me, do the chicks go for your insane babble? About as much as they go for your attempts at self-deprecating humor. So then, it doesn't work. No, not at all. But I found an online dating service that's really good. Cool. What's it called? Would you please get busy and destroy him, Spider-Man? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Guess I'll have to kill you now. Okay. But I'm really gonna miss me when I'm gone. Thanks for a fun day, Arcade. We'll have to do this again real soon. Except, it'll be my turn to try and kill you. My story begins with a flight into outer space, aboard a ship created by Reed Richards, my boyfriend at the time. Ben Grimm was the pilot, and my little brother Johnny had come along as additional crew. As soon as we left the atmosphere, the ship was bombarded by radiation, and it went crashing back to Earth. Shortly after that, we discovered the radiation had given us superpowers. I gained the ability to turn invisible, as well as create force fields of any shape or size. And as a member of the Fantastic Four, I took on the code name Invisible Woman. Together, my team has done some pretty fantastic things. But there are times I enjoy working on my own, like the time I battled Radioactive Man.
know my own strength. good side here, buddy. You mind rephrasing that last statement? I am far stronger than you. You have to be a time traveler because you can't be from this decade. Not with an attitude like that. You are no match for me. That does it. The gloves are off, Slick. You are toast.
Hopefully, Radioactive Man learned a lesson that day. Maybe now he knows he shouldn't talk down to any woman, especially the Invisible Woman. The Thing Wolverine Mr. Fantastic Storm Cyclops To the defeat of Doctor Doom In this mission you will be facing the villain known as Shuck his real name is Herman Schultz, and the only superpowers he has are those given by the outfit he wears. A creation of his own design, the suit uses a vibrational generator to deflect attacks. It makes him nearly impossible to grasp. The gauntlets he wears also use vibration, and at full power they can shatter a man's bones. It will be interesting to see how you fare. Shocker is an extremely cagey opponent. Let's keep moving.
only gonna get worse. Consider yourself City yourself clobbing! some of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s secrets. Why? Is that a problem? That ain't gonna happen. I promise you. Well done. Many who attempt this scenario underestimate Shocker, much to their embarrassment.